I never had no one that I could count on. I've been let down so many times. I was tired of hurting, so tired of searching. Till you walked into my life, it was a feeling I'd never known. And for the first time, I didn't feel alone. Your There you go, Cal. What color hair do you have on today? That orange? Yeah. I'm gonna put that on there. I don't know where I'd be without you here with me. This guy's ready for his speech. Yep. You're gonna be a mess. <laughs> Plus, big time in it out here, bro. Big time in it. Wedding time. Get right. My best friend. of friends and family to celebrate the joining of two hearts which will forever beat as one. Zach and Molly would like to thank all of you for being able to share in their happiness today. As Zach's uncle and a newly ordained minister, I'm deeply humbled that they've asked me to officiate their wedding. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Mother and father. Please be seated. Zach and Molly, marriage is a personal contract not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding are the foundations of a happy and enduring home. A couple who wed are joined not only by the mutual affection and love that they share, but also by their hopes, dreams, and by their promises of what will be. The promises and vows they make this day shall guide them in their common future. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves.
to you, Zach, take Molly to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, as long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I do. You, Molly, take Zach to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, as long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I do. These rings, which I am holding, are the outward and visible sign of Zach and Molly's love. I now ask God to bless these rings so that these rings may be seen as sacred symbols of the promise you share today. I invite you now to place the rings on one another while you say your words of promise. Molly, take this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Molly, take this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Zach, take this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. By the authority vested in me by the state of Iowa, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Hey, uh... Wow. 
that's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event. Starting with our first couple. Entering the room now, it's Lily and Colin.
one big thing, if you guys all know Zach Taylor is, is he pretty much knows everything. It doesn't matter if he's right, it doesn't matter if he's wrong. Um, he'll just keep going on and on and on and on and on. And that's kind of how me and him communicate. We kind of feel each other and kind of know how we, uh, how we, how, uh, <laughs> just, just, you know, just look at each other and we know what we're kind of feeling and if it's a bad thing, good thing, we feed off each other. I mean, the last three, four years have been amazing. That's pretty much how I've known him. Uh, working at McGrath is kind of how we started. Uh, great, great friend, a brother to me. Um, but what, what he does is he just keeps going and going and going, and you're, you're, you're trying to sit there and listen to him, but you can't because it's just a, it's just repeating over and over again. And so you just sit there and you bow your head, yeah, 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 and then he hits it with it, and he's just like, he just says something off the wall, and you just keep going, yeah, 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 yeah. And he did it today, actually, it's pretty funny, because he actually said I was right for once. <laughs> But no, but honestly, um, I, I have been listening over the last three years. You've been talking about Molly like, nonstop. The first time you ever talked about her, when she said his vows, um, the haircut thing, she does great hair, haircuts. Uh, <laughs> but it was funny because he, he says, hey, I kind of met this, this, this chick here. She, uh, I'm going to get my haircut by her. She doesn't know I want to ask her out yet, but and, you know, it is three, four you know, times at a time. Then all of a sudden I meet on her for the first time at Bushwood. Everybody's been Bushwood, let's get a little, yeah, huh? Oh, Bushwood? Yeah! <laughs> and, and, uh,